Hello everyone, this is an exercise I've been meaning to to create for a long time but certain things got in the way like how I had to use uh, Blender Crossing and whatnot. So I'm gonna give it another go and see how it goes this time. So I'm gonna be creating something like this. It's uh, a, a disk shape with an indent uh, and uh, three cylindr cylindrical uh, shapes are extruded from it. So uh, it will be similar to this one. It's um, it's a shape that can be created uh, with the use of an array, uh, uh, an array duplicated uh, three times, and uh, a mirror, of course. So let's get to it. First of all, since since it's going to be uh, used with an array that uh, is replicated three times, uh, I'm going to have to use a circle that whose uh, number of vertices can be a duplicate of three. So, having made that shape before, I saw that 18 is a, a good number. So, I can safely delete these vertices because they're going to be created by the array modifier and I can also delete these vertices because they are going to be created by the mirror modifier and so you'll see what I mean right away so I first mirror the shape then I use an array modifier of count of three with the use of an empty modifier which I rotate now first let's set it so that uh, the, the effect can be visible. We define the empty as the control object, we click on the empty and then you see that as I rotate the empty uh, the, the circle is closed and the, the right number for this is 130. Um, exactly the third of a circle, a full circle. So now that the shape is ready can start doing some extractions. I first set uh, the center of scaling to the 3D cursor, I extrude, scale down, uh, create the indent, make sure that this is uh, as much uh, a uniform rectangle if, if one can say that. It's pretty much make sure that the edge of this length is the same as this length so that we keep uh, things in proportion and uh, let's keep going from there uh, extrude again, scale, but this time constrain the, the, the movement um, on the XY plane so shift Z to exclude the Z axis yep scale again, constrain to the z-axis and we'll see how this one closes up well it is not very difficult anyway just have to move it, no not move it, extrude it on the y-axis make sure it's on exactly zero on the y-axis then connect it again uh, my perspective view is better so let's do it again scale this time I don't need to constrain the uh, constrain the axis it is already constrained to the XY plane we're on the same plane now this is a 3d cursor so that's oh mm, let's check a couple things merge and on the first last, so that's about it, smooth it out, it's much too smooth, so we need a couple of defining edges one here, uh, 
buy another one, why not? Let's try to make this a sharp transition. Let's that should be good for now anyway. And uh, this is the the main shape that that the plate that we we aim for. Uh, let me save just in case. Yeah, I didn't untitle so. Um, let's start creating the uh, the cylinders. Okay, create a uh, a circle now. Ah, sorry. No. I need the cursor over there, cursor to a selection, and now create my circle. The point is, you can already see that uh, the circle is propagated through the use of the array modifier. So, what's left now is to determine how big the cylinder is going to be. And I think this, this size is pretty good, uh, I would say. Yeah, why not? Just a little bigger. So, the point is how many uh, sides do we need this, the, this circle to be, this cylinder to have? So, we we'll start counting. Um, we need three vertices that will be connected to these vertices. And we also need uh, three vertices to go something like that. So if uh, I think we need an extra vertex, I don't want to share the vertex between points. So let's just increase the count. By my guess, it would be one, two, three, and one, two, three, and that would close the rings for these points. So, one, two, three connections and one, two, three to keep things smooth. So it was should be a, a circle of about ten points. If I, I didn't want so many defining edges, if I had uh, deleted this loop uh, or uh, this loop, the transitions here would be smoother and here and I will need uh, fewer uh, points on the circle, obviously. It's a matter of choice, uh, in the way you see it. So... Let's delete these uh, edges that will be repeated by the uh, array modifier anyway. Well, the mirror modifier, sorry. And the other the others will be created as well. And let's just move it a bit upwards and extrude along the Z axis so that it does it goes all the way through. Yep, something like that. And let's move move this shape so that this edge corresponds to this edge. It will make things easier in the long run. Well, you know, it's it's not really necessary, and I shouldn't really in insist on this. So let's just keep it like this because it will make things more difficult. So the exercise will have a a purpose, uh, a training purpose. So make it a separate object and just um, go with the circle oh boy oh now that's funny I don't want any of the modifiers of this shape So now that I've used it up, I need an intersection, yes, 
cosine is an intersection but it has to be an intersection before the subdivision modifier so delete it and just work on this it's a union? no, I need an intersection so I should put it up there before anything else and just apply delete the vertices and work with what I have left so that would mean all of these which have to go so that I will have my opening and then we'll uh, work from there so boolean cheater job and let's start connecting dots cleaning up uh, that would be one point to go okay no well you know I don't want to connect everything just yet did I do now? Okay. So here and here and close that. What I want really is to extrude on the z axis. Okay, just like that and insert on the outside that will give me a loop that I can work on and start cleaning up from there drag it down so Let's dissolve that edge, we don't need it because as you will see <coughs> I need this edge length and I can display it uh, where exactly? Yeah. yeah, I need the length it's 0.09 and it's 0.09 and it's 0.09 these are the correct distances and it's 0.09 so Ah, uh, yeah. Delete that one too. That one. Dissolve the edges and delete the vertices. Something is wrong with this part. I will figure it out. Zero point nine. This is wrong too. Dissolve the edge and connect here. Booleans can be a bit problematic at times. Now this. This is definitely not right. Um, there's something wrong with this, this edge. It's 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It should be, I don't know, something more. So let's go back. Oh, right. It's still a 20-sided uh, cylinder. I have 11 edges, so something is wrong. This obviously uh, is wrong. Dissolve that edge. That edge as well. This 
is a four nine nine. Let's get bigger. Well, I obviously did something wrong. And if I try to subdivide my object, it will probably show, or maybe not. So fast scale along the z axis, so we can have a kappa extrude on the z bit extrude. Uh, we need a, a reference here. Okay, so get a selected. Okay, extrude and scale inwards and extrude and scale again. Yeah. That's going to be flying things a bit. So, no, I need to dissolve that. It's starting to get better and better. Let's change the flow here and here and here. Delete the verges that are not needed so all those and we have the connections we were asking for now for some completeness sake what's closest so and it's pretty much ready and defined So now let's close that cap up there. That's okay. Yeah, for this part, I could just, you know, the cursor is right there in the center. I could just extrude scale to zero, and that should be it. But this may cause some problems when trying to UV map this part. So let's try another approach that is for the, the polycount forum. Let's close it in a, a, um, a quad-like manner. Close it up. And... Cap it. And that's that. So let's check for any artifacts, maybe extrude a bit, um, place the cursor, well I don't know, at the center, I suppose, yeah. Okay. Let's just extrude, three edges, everything is uh, flat now, so it doesn't matter that we have these triangles. Extrude Z, maybe even extrude here, extrude again, get a nice side, and uh, check it, check the shading with a, a matte cap. Uh, it's inverted, so no matter, we'll just invert, flip the normals, and we have the correct lighting. And yeah, I think it looks good. Let me know what you think. Well, well, in hindsight, I would just soften the edges here. Okay, we even need another mat cap. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Let's just uh, hide 
here to length so that we can work on this a bit further. Yeah, my edges are too tight. So slides. I put them what? Well, this look. Sorry, and this look. I for this one I could just move on the Z axis. Yeah, that's better now. A bit smoother. Okay. Hope you liked it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Bye bye.